Ron Harris here from Muscular Development with our continued coverage of the IPB North American Championships here in Pittsburgh. Our coverage brought to you by High Tech Pharmaceuticals. I'm here with super heavyweight Kenneth Banks from Atlanta, but you guys on MD know him a little better as Big Oso. Maybe you follow him on Instagram as Big Oso 404. 404. So first of all, this was your first national contest. First national level show. So what took you so long to get to the national level? Because look at you. You know, I, I always, uh, I kind of got into bodybuilding through old school people. So I always thought to follow kind of the old school way. Start at your regional level, you know, win your class there, win your overall and take it step by step. Won, won my class uh, a few times, still never won an overall, but people kept telling me they felt like I was ready for the national level. So I said, hey, let's give it, give it a shot and see, see how I do. So how did you get into all this? You were, we were just talking that you were either real skinny when you started or real fat. Which one were you? Yeah, so I started off as a fat kid. Grew up as a fat kid, fat kid my whole teenage years, early 20s. Um, started uh, dieting down, or, or actually, so I was a uh, member at a gym with a guy who uh, was a promoter for bodybuilding shows. Uh, started losing weight, like really just to not be so fat. And he came up to me uh, one day and asked me about doing a bodybuilding show. And I was like, what is that? Like I, I had no clue about any of it. Um, went and checked out his show. He actually ended up training me f to compete in his show and uh, been competing since then. Yeah, you were definitely one of the thicker guys in the class. You know, unfortunately the callouts, you know, I wasn't quite clear what was going on there. You were in the last callout. I would not have had you in the last callout for <laughs> sure. Uh, you carry just a ton of thick muscle. How did you build it? I've seen you, even in prep, you've been posting on Instagram some crazy weights. So you've definitely put some heavy weights in, weight training in over the years? Absolutely. Um, I kind of, so I actually know you from the Muscle Mayhem boards way back then and uh, and around that same time I got introduced to uh, Dante Trudell you know DC training and all that and so I've always kind of since I've been a believer in that you know heavy progressive uh, training basic compound movements you know get stronger get stronger the muscle follows um, nothing fancy just you know basic progressive uh, progressively heavier training that's it what are some of the weights I've seen you lifting, using on uh, in your prep? Because you actually, I think you get stronger as the prep goes yeah, on. I hit, I hit some PRs. I, uh, some of my best lifts, I hit a uh, 495 times 10 on a squat. Uh, this prep, uh, incline Smith machine, I hit 405 times maybe eight. Um, not a deadlift guy. Can't can't deadlift from the floor. Um, that's really some of my strongest lifts. I can put a good amount of weight on a hack squat. Um, that's yeah. really, yeah. So, now I know some people get lean easier and some people get big easier. Which one would you say you fall into? Oh, definitely to get big easier. I mean, I have to, my diets are brutal. Anybody who's kind of, uh, like guys who know me in real life, like I have to go really low carb, really low calorie, and lots of cardio. I mean, I've been on 50 grams of uh, carbs on workout days Ooh. for... I don't know how many weeks, maybe eight weeks, last eight, nine weeks, something like that. So yeah, I have to get, I have to get down there to get uh. To and get we're me. talking about 50 grams of carbs for a guy who's on stage, what are you about, 245, 250? 250, yeah, I went, wow. I went in 259, was on stage 250. Wow. Yeah, just goes to show, you know, we're, we're all so different and it shows the importance of, you know, learning your own body and, and uh, you know, and adapting your diet to that because, you know, I followed your diet, I'd, yeah, work, <laughs> I'd, be, in, I'd be in bad, <laughs> be in trouble. So, you know, some guys have real jobs, but you have a very demanding real job. Tell us what you do and what kind of hours are involved in this job. So I'm an RN in the emergency department, work uh, from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, you know, split shifts, so different uh, shifts, sometimes two on two off, maybe three straight, just, um, you know, different, but all overnight. Um, can be, and it can de definitely be a demanding job, have to stay sharp even on, uh, on low carbs. Um, can definitely present uh, some, some challenges. Well, not only that, I imagine somebody comes in with a gunshot wound, you got your chicken breasts ready to eat. Do you have to, do you have to go a lot longer between meals at times? Um, sh shakes become super important for me just to get my meals in at uh, at work I can usually I mean I can get my meals in sometimes if, if emergency comes up yeah it'll the time will stretch out and it'll be four hours between a meal maybe five um, but usually that's why I'll, I'll always have a couple shakes with me just in case I know there's a time I can't stop to eat you know I can just throw a shake down real quick and get back to it 
So, you know, you're not done yet. You still have the over 35 to get to in a, in a little bit here. But overall, how would you rate your first experience at a national show? Is it what you thought it would be? Was it different? Um, I mean, the experience, I'm, I mean, to be honest, the, the, the last call out thing uh, kind of befuddles me too. Uh, so that, that, you know, that stings a little bit. But other than that, it's, it's, uh, this is a well-organized show, well-run. So you know, it's good, a, a good experience, good, as good of an experience as it can be with uh, a last call out. So, right. does it, you know, does it inspire? Does it make you want to do this next year or a different show next year, and make any changes? Or what, what's running through your head at this point? I know it's the show isn't even over yet, sure. but I have to ask these things. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I have to talk to my wife. And see and see where we're see where we're at with that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's fair enough. I know how that goes. All right. Well, I thank you so much. Uh, I, I know you got to get back. You got the over thirty five supers to get to in a few minutes. Appreciate it very much. You thank look you, great. Ron. Like Appreciate I said, it, man. I would I would have looked at you a little sooner than they did, but you know, I'm just pressed. I'm not a judge. So, for musculardevelopment.com, actually, let's have you can let's have you hit a couple poses. How about a front double bicep? Unfortunately, you can't see this guy's wheels, which are his best feature, but if you go to Daily Pump Picks thread or his Instagram, you'll see what I'm talking about. Pro level, le actually, I shouldn't even say pro level legs. Legs better than most pros you know. So, congratulations again for Ron Harris, musculardevelopment.com. Coverage brought to you by High Tech Pharmaceuticals. We'll catch you later.